The computer hums. Data processing is underway. Seemingly in control of our very destinies, we feel like actors on a stage talking to machines because we can no longer talk to human beings. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. That would include things like news and politics and movies and games and just weird articles and also things that have to do with the stock market. And so one thing here uh, is in regards to 80% of the stock market is now on autopilot. What do they mean now on autopilot? The whole thing's been on autopilot for the past several years. It's it's all controlled by computers mostly. That's why you've got all these. That's why like the whole market as a whole tends to like everything tends to follow the market. That it's all going down. It's all going up at the same time. You know, it's not like you have a whole bunch of traders that are uh, telling everyone, hey, you know, we should buy or you know, you, you know, it's like um, people are buying uh, Facebook and Coca Cola. Um, and uh, some electric company all at the same time, you know, or they're all selling it at the same time. It's not that coordinated. There's computers that are doing this within like split seconds, split seconds. Um, and it's all based on algorithms and searching news for little bits of information on whether or not they should, you know, all these different algorithms are trying to outdo each other. And so there's just crazy stuff that goes on in the market. I mean, if you're if you're trying to uh, chase after the market, you're going to lose. The best thing to do when it comes to investing is look for companies that you want to invest in, um, and just start buying shares uh, of it. Uh, don't get a whole lot, you know, unless you can afford it. But maybe get like one or two shares of this, one or two shares of that, or you know, like fifty dollars worth of this. You know, and if it's something's like $150 for a share, buy one share of that, you know, and just slowly build up your portfolio. And if the market goes down, okay, well, now things are on sale. Now you get a chance to add a little bit more to your, uh, <clears throat> to your portfolio. But don't try to chase the market. You're going to lose. You're going to have problems. Um, I know I did. <sighs> because the whole thing is is just run by computers and it's 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 absolutely nuts but anyway these these are some key points but those will be in the article here oh look at me i can't control the market anyway um it's no secret that machines are taking up a bigger and bigger share of investing but the extent of their influence is approaching shocking proportion proportions it is as high as 80 percent according to one major investing firm Passive investments such as index funds and exchange-traded exchange funds control about 60% of the equity assets while quan, quantitative funds, say that five times fast, those which rely on trend-following models instead of fundamental research from humans now account for 20% of the market share, according to JP Morgan. This means... So much of stock trading is now in the hands of automated buyers and sellers that the market is increasingly sensitive to headlines and more prone to sharp price swings. Many notable investors believe. Yeah, I mean, it goes without saying. If you, I mean, I've looked at it. Put several different charts up on the screen and watch them in live time and you will see you will see how they're all going down and up at the same time for the most part some things don't but a lot of things will they almost mirror each other it's crazy but yeah it's computers that's the only way um <clears throat> omega advisors founder previously said computer trading is creating a wild west with the markets calling for an investigation by the securities and exchange commission um, 
Another uh, CEO has taken a shot at passive investing, saying it's causing widespread problems in global stock markets. He called it a herding behavior. He's not a fan uh, of passive investing at all. In fact, he says, I think passive investing has reached mania status as we went into the peak of the global stock market. <coughs> While algorithmic models have gained popularity on Wall, Wall Street, low-cost passive vehicles keep raking in assets from Main Street. Passive funds have attracted $39 billion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but here's the end of it. The pace of of outflows from active is a, is a psycho and I don't know I the rest of this stuff is kind of I don't care Ooh, the five guys ordering secret you need to know hmm I like five guys man they've got some great stuff you guys got a five guys uh, the five guys burgers oh man oh man they're good I like in and out burger but like five guys man that's the bomb and they end they got peanuts, like free peanuts. You can go scoop up some peanuts and take them to your table. <laughs> Five Guys is awesome. Uh, that's not what this uh, this video is about, though. It's about uh, the stock market uh, running on autopilot. What do you think about this? Um, are you an investor? Do you do you do some a little bit of investing here and there? Do you uh, trade in stocks? Do you do uh, options? Um, futures do you get uh, bitcoin at all uh, let me know let me know what you think about this um in the comments below and uh if you're new subscribe uh, i i would appreciate it and uh in return you'll get to know when more videos get uploaded to this channel and there's a whole bunch of stuff on this channel so uh join us <laughs> join the killer nation and the killer empire let's build something together anyway Thanks for joining me and I will see you on another rambling video.